Welcome to Rhodes Elementary, Miss Tucker's third grade class, and today we're learning about floods with Mr. Rick Croslin. Hey, thanks for that great introduction. You know, we've been studying weather for the last four weeks, and I got a little worried because the first lesson we did was about weather patterns. And guess what? The next couple days, the weather patterns changed. The second lesson was on clouds, and we made clouds. And guess what? There were lots of clouds we could look at. And then last week, we studied about wind and ice and snow, and we had a windstorm and an ice storm. And I got a little worried because this week's lesson is on floods and i don't want us to have a flood what about you <laughs> no hey before we talk about floods let's go back to weather underground okay you see this is the weather underground or the uh, you know website that's really cool you guys should check it out let's go to our full forecast for here in indianapolis and when we click on that it tells what today's weather is and it looks like it's still pretty cold but it's partly cloudy and we have some winds. We studied this for the last couple weeks. Let's go down and you might see the 10 day forecast and it should be right about here. So you can see on this table, it has today's weather and the forecast that scientists think might happen. They make predictions and you can see it's gonna be partly cloudy, mostly cloudy. It's gonna get a little bit warmer maybe and by the weekend it should have some rain and you can even arrow down a little bit we can even see hour by hour so luckily that weather forecast did not have rain you see floods are a natural occurrence and floods happen when it rains and rains and rains so we need rain but most rain when it comes down gets soaked into the ground into the water table so the water goes into the ground which is what it's supposed to do however can you imagine what happens if what if it keeps raining and raining what if the pattern is there's lots of rain what's going to happen to the ground eventually what's going to happen to the ground all right good it's going to get soaked more and more until finally none of the water will actually soak down anymore and so when it can't soak in the ground anymore guess where it goes on the surface right here and so rain is normal and floods happen when there's too much rain it doesn't get soaked up and it has to go somewhere you want to know where it has to go let's take a look well sometimes a situation occurs when it rains a lot and the ground gets completely soaked. This happened a few years ago here in the United States when we had some major flooding. Let's take a look at this. It is the summer of 1993. If you look at this map of the upper Midwest, you'll notice something very interesting. We have all of these rivers. Here is the Mississippi River, one of the biggest rivers. It's headed on down to St. Louis. The Illinois River, we have the Missouri River, we have the Ohio River. All of these rivers come together, and that's how the water moves from the land into the rivers down to the Gulf of Mexico. What would you think would happen if it rained so much that the rivers could not drain the land? What might happen? It might flood, it might come over the banks, it might cause a big natural disaster. And that's what happened. Let's check it out. So I know that's almost terrible to look at. Those people in their homes flooded, their farmland flooded. But nature does what it does. We have to understand the science of what's going on and find ways to protect ourselves against weather like flooding. Now I'm going to tell you something, boys and girls. I know you don't want to be out when there's a rainstorm because you don't want to be struck by lightning. And you don't want to be stuck in a snowstorm or an ice storm or a tornado or a hurricane. But the most dangerous thing to be in is a flood. 
So a flood can happen anywhere. Does anybody in their front yard, sometimes when it rains, there's like a ditch of water, and when it rains a lot, it comes up? You should never walk in flood waters, even if it's a ditch that you know of. More people are hurt and killed by floods than any other weather. If the water, you saw the water going across the road there, some people drive their cars across it. They think, oh, it's only that much water. But that much water, six inches, going fast, can push your car right off into the river. Or you. So if you see floods, you see flooded streets, don't go in them. And if your parents are going to drive in them, tell them to stop. Wait. Go around or wait for the water to go down. Now, let's take a look at three types of rivers. All right, so here are three typical shapes of a river. This river right here is kind of just straight and the water goes down from gravity. This river, check it out, this one. It's really wide, but it gets narrow and gets wide again. And then this river is a S shape or an oxbow. It comes down slow and goes around. I want you to study these three different river systems. What do you think will happen if it floods? This one goes straight, this one goes and gets narrow, and this one goes around. Any ideas? Well, what do you think is going to happen with the straight ri river? I think that gravity is going to pull it down because it's a straight river, you know. It, it's going to come flooding down, rushing down. It's going to flood very, very easily. It's going to start out wide and then it's going to get squeezed. So where do you think it's going to flood? At the wide part or the squeezed part? The wide part. No, the wide part is a lot. It's going... The squeezed part. Yeah, I think... Well, you know what? We're going to try it to see if that's true. Do you want to try it? Yeah. All right. When the water turns around in the loop, it's going to go slower because it's trying to, like, turn. Yes, but what happens when we put more water? Is it going to have time to turn? No. So where's that water going to do? It's going to go out because it, it's already like filled up and then it's going to pour out. Um, see it's going to, see it's, it usually just goes through here, but if it's flooding, it's going to like oh, flood over the walls and then it's going to cause a flood, a disaster, and it's going to, usually it goes like this, so it's going to flood over. Okay, and that would be a flood from a straight river. Good job. When the water is going to be water and then it's go it can't fit through there. So, because all that is filled up, so it's going to push out and then the, the leftover water that pushed out is going to come out and it's going to go through the lake. A big flood where it's narrow, right? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. What's going to happen? I think when the water starts here, it's going to like slow down. So, like, the water can, like, get through and concentrate where it's going. But what if there's too much water? Where do you think it's going to flood? When it's, like, rushing right here, but yep. when it goes slow right here, it's going to go boom. And then when it's slow, it's going to fall over the so side. So where does it go boom at? Show me. Right about there, right? Yeah. I think it might flood there. What do you think? I think it will because it's, like, rushing and it slows down and falls. So why, why can't, can't we, we just test, test this? this? You want me to do what? Test this! Why don't you say so? Hey, you guys want to test it? Yeah! All right, let me show you what we're going to do. We've made these models out of clay and rocks and sand, and there's a little bit of a hill for them. That's going to be our gravity. All we need now is some rain and thunder. Oh, I think I just heard thunder. Okay, you can see our model. This is the river that's wide, and then what happens? It gets... Yeah, skinny or narrow, then wide again. And people have built houses around here. Now, when you get a little bit of rain, that's not a problem. So we start here. This is going to be my rain. A little bit of rain. Drip, 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 drip. Not some problems. No problem. Drip, drip, drip. But if it, now we start getting more and more, not a problem. Look, a little bit of rain, that can handle it. No flooding. What's going to happen if we get a lot of rain, though? It's going to flood. Whoa, did you see what happened? It's flooding. It's flooding over the edge right there. So when you build something narrow like that, like a levee, sometimes <laughs> the water will come so high that it will flood right over there. So this works for a small one, 
but not when there's a big flood. So here's an S river, like, and it's, as long as there's a little, where's it going, okay? But if there's too much, Whoa. flooding out the side, huh, problem. We might have to put some wetlands here to soak it up, or a levee. Now when you have a straight river, the water goes really fast. And this may not be a problem until the very end when it's going so fast at the end that maybe this could happen. I don't know. Let's see if we get a thunder. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to try this on your own? Yeah! Okay. Drip, drip, drip. Why do you have all the houses in the river? <laughs> well, these houses are up on stilts, that's why. But it's dripping on there. It's, it's yeah, it's, it looks like it's flooding right where you thought it might. Which one flooded the quickest? This one. That one with the S curve? Yes. No, wow. it was this one because it was like that, then it fell over here. Oh, okay. But the hot ones I did, then it fell right there. See? Falling from there. Yeah, but try this one. Try this one. And what about the red one? That one was. No. It didn't. It, 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 it drips a little bit over here, but gotcha. not very much. Oh, that one goes right over that edge right there, yeah. doesn't it? Very good, very good. We learned that it can flood. And we, one of the things we did is that we um, put our hand over it and we actually... So like, we can made it flood. Yeah. Yeah, it actually like, came over. Oh, so if it got backed up, if it got backed up here, yeah, then it would flood? It getting, yeah. You know, the people that work in our streets always keep the drains clear. Yeah, the, um, the storm drain, because it needs to go down in case of a major flood. Yeah, and so you guys kind of made a model of a... Yeah. <laughs> cool. I learned that if floods are really bad, and if you go in, you could get hurt really bad or die. Yeah. Well, so, anything you want to tell our viewers about floods and what you should do? You should never go into water. Never go in, in the a flood ditch. Wall, in the ditch of any flood water. It is extremely dangerous. Viewer discretion is advised. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krells, I think it's raining cats and dogs. Oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Croslin, for such a great science experience experiment about floods. Yay! Yay!